it gives me great pleasure to be here to participate in this launching of the book containing the speeches of comrade tk rangarajan in parliament when i was told that this book is being released in chennai i happened to be just passing through chennai after spending 3 days in other districts of tamil nadu i readily agreed because comrade tk rangarajan as you all know is one of the prominent leaders of the communist party of india marxist and a leader of the trade union movement the working class movement not only in tamil nadu but also in the leadership of the center of indian trade unions and also he has been for two terms a member of the rajya sabha and he has served as the deputy leader and then the leader of the cpim group in the rajya sabha some of those who spoke before me are his colleagues who have been in the parliament and also in the rajya sabha with him and they have already more eloquently and authentically explained his role as a parliamentarian and tkr's speeches in parliament which are contained in this book also testify to his versatile skills as a parliamentarian his ability to communicate and articulate the views not only of the cpi but the views and stand of the entire working class movement of india the democratic movement in india and the defense of secularism and the values that we cherish which has been provided in the constitution of india i don't want to go into the range of speeches there are i think 45 speeches in this 12 year period he was there in parliament when the upa government was in power and then the bjp led government the modi government you will see consistently he has been a strong voice for the working class opposing all anti working class policies policies of privatization neo liberal policies as and when it it was expressed in legislation passed by the government or other policy measures you'll also find in the entire gamut of speeches a uh, a firm defense of secularism and democratic values and this is important because we are undergoing a period when democracy itself is under siege in india and when parliament is getting devalued progressively comrade tkr was in the rajya sabha and what's happening to the rajya sabha today it started when he was there also we are a, according to the constitution we are a union of states the indian union of states and the rajya sabha is the council of states it is in one sense the expression of our federal structure which represents the interests of the states of the union but we have seen how systematically under the present regime the role and scope of the rajya sabha is getting curtailed whittled down and bypassed we have seen money bill legislations being presented in the lok sabha in the lok sabha and then in the rajya sabha and when it comes to rajya sabha is declared as a money bill 
Even the Aadhaar bill became a money bill. The reason is, if it is declared to be a money bill, then the Raj Sabha does not have any power of voting and scrutiny. So, an important function of the Raj Sabha has been denied by the government deciding to pass legislation and laws in the Rajya Sabha by defining them as money bills when they have nothing to do with the character of a money bill. There is no question of any money take being taken and spent out of the Consolidated Fund of India. Comrade TKR, when he was in the parliament, opposed and fought against this attempts to stifle and whittle down the role and powers of the Raj Sabha. And we have seen how, when in, during his tenure, the second term in the last years of the Raj Sabha, how such laws were passed, like the Constitutional, the Citizenship Amendment Act, how the Article 370 was dismantled, and the state of Jammu and Kashmir was done away with. So you have this big onslaught on parliamentary democracy, on cost constitutional norms and procedures, and the very role of parliament. And Comrade T.K. Rangarajan, as a member of the Raj Sabha, has consistently fought and stood for the credibility of parliament, the parliamentary institutions and the constitutional norms. I am afraid that as things are progressing, this attack on parliamentary democracy itself is growing. I would refer to the three farm laws that were passed last year in September. You all know what happened in the Raj Sabha at that time. The bills were not allowed to go to a select committee. Any motion for that was denied. A division, voting on the bills was not allowed. Even when Comrade, I mean, Tiruchi Sel, Shiva moved for, I think, voting at that time, the right to vote, that was denied. And all those who stood for a division or wanted their resolution of motion raised, eight such MPs were suspended from parliament, including two from the CPI, and from other parties too. So this is the state of parliament functioning today. So it is all the more important to learn and to draw lessons from the work and the speeches of Comrade TKR in Parliament in this period, this last 12 years, because many of the issues which are now valid and relevant today are going to be, uh, are being reflected in the speeches made by Comrade TKR. The second point I want to make, again, is the Rajya Sabha is today unable to exercise its due role and function. As I said, it's a council of states. There's a tremendous attack on the rights of states. Even these three farm bills represent an encroachment on the sphere of the states. Agriculture, for example, and the type of marketing or procurement which is there internally within a state does not come under the central or concurrent list. The Raj Sabha is the body which is vigilant to resist such encroachment on states' rights. But that function is not being allowed to be exercised of the Raj Sabha. And increasingly there is going to be an onslaught on states' rights, fiscal, in terms of resources, in terms of the jurisdiction of the states, the subjects which are there under state jurisdiction. And the big attack is now coming, as uh, uh, the MPs here sitting know, 
in the budget speech it was announced an ambitious privatization policy of the public sector enterprises and they have said first for the first time there's a government in independent india which says we really don't need the public sector at all mm. it's only the private sector that matters business should be in the hands of the private sector the government has no role in the economy the prime minister himself has declared that so many public sector units are now targeted for privatization or being closed down many of the public sector enterprises in tamil nadu will also be similarly targeted because they say steel plants are not in the strategic sector anymore so salem steel plant why should it be in the as a public sector enterprise already you have seen they have declared they are selling the vishakhapatnam steel plant against which a big movement has started in andhra pradesh so committee kr was consistently fighting against privatization during the upa government also there were efforts at disinvestment and privatization of certain enterprises i think a reference is there to the pasture institute and other vaccine company public sector companies which were going to be sold off now we know the importance of public health after the pandemic earlier what happened to the public sector units like idpl the indian drugs etc so this attack is coming so in this situation tiru tirichi shiva said we need to have effective people in parliament uh, and i'm sure that you see we are we belong to a generation now which is what about what may call the senior citizen generation many more younger people are coming and i can tell you one thing you will see that communists when they go into parliament even if they are not very well educated they have the experience of, of struggles of leading popular movements of participating in mass protests that experience helps them anyway i find communists are willing to who go into the legislatures and parliament they are very ready they are confident to speak on anything sometimes i ask them do you really know the subject but they say yes we we can speak some of being a communist having a scientific world view they think they can speak on any subject at any time i remember the occasion when i was a student here in chennai i got acquainted one with uh, mr pilu modi who was most of them don't know a swatantra party a extreme right wing party economic views etc but he is a very uh, friendly man so he used to like to discuss with young students so he met me at two three times here and later on when i moved to delhi i used to meet him so one day he said he was in parliament then he said you communists make very good speeches you also write good articles so why don't you write some speeches for me for speaking in parliament knowing that i hold totally contrary views to him so i'm sure that the communist tradition in parliament and legislatures will be maintained and the standards set by comrade tkr will be emulated by a new generation of communist parliamentarians and legislatures finally i would like to congratulate uh, bharatiya bharatiya pustakalayam pustakalayam for bringing out this volume of speeches uh, it is not easy to translate all the speeches mainly in english into tamil it has been done efficiently i am told i can't read tamil so but as uh, tirichus shiva said it's it is written in a the speeches are simple and you know popular style and i commend this book to all of you and to i hope it will get the widest circulation and readership thank you very much